Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be checking out some of your freshest and coolest creations this week on the workshop. Let's get to it. All right, for our first one, we have the Buster of Hulk Mech by Grenade. Um, so basically, it's the Hulk Buster armor from the Age of Ultron movie. So let's bring this thing out. Here we go. Oh, wow, it is huge. Hang on, let me... There we go. It's spawned in properly now. It's nearly full complexity. And would you look at that? Look at that stance. That is so cool. What? Okay, now I can see what I'm up against. So we have WASD. So yes, we're moving as the Hulk Buster armor. Wow. And I can turn. Can I reverse? Oh yeah. Whoa. Kind of reverses a little bit. I think it's supposed to hover. <laughs> All right. So what does space do? Oh my God. Space is a freaking speed boost. Yes. That is what I'm talking about. Okay. Q and E. <laughs> oh, whoa. We have the punching fist. And then E. E is to shoot. And they're both on toggle. Whoa, that is sick. We also have oh, number one. What does number one do? Oh, number one pops out the helmet. So you can see the Iron Man inside. That's neat. And then we have Z and next. What does Z do? Oh, Z actually... Oh, wait. Z disperses the sleeping gas, just like in the movie. <laughs> That's so sick. And then X... Oh, of course, we have a, a chest missile. That That is too cool. But the question is, can I run this thing off the side of the aircraft carrier let's see oh i feel <laughs> i don't know if we can fly oh wait, wait wait a minute wait a minute we can fly guys i think we can fly in this i think we just need to okay shift is to fly holy smokes yes that's what i'm talking about we can actually fly in the hulk buster armor <laughs> damn dude look how cool this is oh whoa what is happening now i took the helmet off and it's kind of <laughs> All right, this is cool, but I am obviously having so much fun with this. How did he make those eyes? Those eyes look really good. All right, okay, well, the Hulkbuster armor is pretty fun. But let's see what we have next. All right, next up, we have a creation that is inspired from a game, not a movie this time. And it is the Subnautica Cyclops Submarine with Seamoth. So essentially, this is a game accurate to Subnautica Cyclops with the Seamoth inside. So let's spawn it in here. Wow, and it's exactly 700 complexity. That's crazy. Okay, it is a big build. So let's just, let's spawn it in. Wow, and it's really, it looks so detailed. That's so cool. Okay, so arrow keys is buoyancy and it's got pretty much basic controls for a submarine. This is actually quite impressive. I think lights is L. Yeah, I got some lights going on there at the front. H is the horn. That's dope. We also have shift. Oh, shift opens the compartment for the Seamoth. Whoa. And then we also have one, two, and E. So one. I don't know what one is supposed to be doing. Oh, I think these are controls for... Uh... Oh, I see, I see. If I raise the uh, buoyancy here, can I get my camera all the way underneath? There's a little claw. You see that? That little gray thing? So maybe you can actually pick the Seamoth back up into the Cyclops. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's let's drop the Seamoth. I actually think we need to be in the Seamoth for this to happen. So I need to go to the second seat here. That's shift. Oh, there we go. E is to drop the Seamoth. Pretty sure this thing just uses lean controls too. That's impressive. Press this for a little sub. <laughs> All right, okay. So I do believe this is somewhat of a two-player build because we have the uh, we have the magnet ready there. Can I turn the magnet on? No, that's that's the wrong keybind. There we go. Two. So the magnet is on, and now I just need to get the Seamoth back into the Cyclops. All right, I have grabbed the Seamoth. Let's see if I can actually dock this thing back into the Cyclops. This is making me want to play some Nautica. This is wild. This is not a good way to dock the seam off i think oh uh-oh i mean hey i'm i'm stuck to the magnet it'll it'll do we can get back in the cyclops let's shut the door <laughs> i shouldn't have done that oh no Okay, well, that's a super impressive Seamoth by L14M. That is, I can't believe how good this is, dude. Re really good. Good job on this. Wow. Just, just good all around. All right, next up, we have the Pixlr Avionics NV01 Nova by Pixelotl. So let's bring this out. So this seems to be some kind of sci-fi VTOL. 
Whoa, would you look at the decals on this thing? This is so cool. And I like the landing gear going on here. This is, this is nice. All right, let's get in the seat. Space is to go up. I'm assuming G is to get the landing gear in. Yep. Wow, that's so cool. I have rockets. Uh-oh, uh-oh, what am I doing? Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, no! Okay, I believe it's shift to change modes. There we go. Now I can put the landing gear in. I think one is the bomb bay. Yes. Look at that. Oh, no. Oh, no, I hopped out. <laughs> Wait for me. No, I didn't mean to press F. Ah, uh, oops. Oh, dear. Okay, let's try this again. Taking off. There we go. Into VTOL mode. Switch modes. Press G. Get the landing gear in. And yeah, it's pretty much basic flight controls. It's pretty smooth, actually. And it looks so dope. I like this fin design on the top. All right, let's see if I can VTOL land this on top of this cliffside here. Okay, landing gear, VTOL mode. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Who put explosive barrels up here, dude? That's not cool. Oh, okay, no, we have too much momentum. We're gonna change our landing destination. You know what? We'll just land on this beach. We'll just land somewhere over here. All right, easy does it, easy does it. Slowly, and... I wasn't too bad. Anyway, just a super cool, impressive build by Pixel Auto Layered. Alright, so up next, we have Tom the Automato by Metal Burger. And obviously, there's a lot of lore here, but apparently, it's just a flying tomato. Oh, there you go. Oh, it has a face and everything. All right, let's 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 actually get inside here. Oh, wow. We got a first person. So this has no seat. I just realized this has no seat. What? Okay. So I think you're supposed to get inside this thing in first person and trip that distance sensor there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Things are happening now. It's flying by itself. I'm, I have no control on this whatsoever. It has no controls. I have not in the seat. And it's automatically sensing the wall and turning around wow that is wild you can see all the distance sensors here they're just covered in red decals and i think it's just trying to gain some altitude whilst keeping the momentum going forward you know what let's actually go back into first person here oh i can see my oh oh it's a bit it's not a it's a very bumpy ride holy smokes oh whoa 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 <laughs> what is happening whoa Okay, alright. Let's just stay in third person. It's sensing that. It's hovering around it. This this is cool for an automated build. That is very nice. Good job, Metal Burger. Alright, for our last creation, obviously saving the most coolest, in my opinion, to last, we have the Model 493 Milana by Okami Mashu. And here it is. So it's max complexity. I think it's doing some, some zero drag here in the front to get some speed going. I also see these pistons that will push these weapons into the wing, kind of. But yeah, let's let's just get in and see the controls. All right, okay. All right, I think we have... These are very big wheels, by the way, for this plane. This plane is just big in general. Shift is to toggle go, but I'm wondering what control is. Hang on, let me just check the instructions here. Oh, control is a brake for the wheels. Okay, let's get going here. The space is to shoot. There we go. Take off. Landing gears in. Whoa, that feels very smooth. For a bigger build, like for a bigger design of an aircraft, this feels really good. Okay, I believe M and N are the weapons. Okay, yeah, so M is the bombs. N is the rockets. And then finally, I believe the wings can actually sweep back. Like this. Wow. Does that affect the flying? This is cool. All right, let's go blow something up. We're just going to blow up the ground because that's it's all we can do. Oh, that's a lot of explosives. Very cool. All right. Okay, let's... We're losing stability. This is fine. This is my fault. This is a pilot error. Okay, we're going to sweep the wings back again and see if we can go through the ring of fire. Go through the... Oh, no. <laughs> Not quite. Not quite. Oh, dear. Wow. In a million pieces across the sky. I gotta say, this model 493 Milana is very sweet. Such a good ride. Such a good design, too. I really like planes that have, like, wings that can sweep back. Just makes things a little bit more interesting, I think. Right, well, I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Just me having fun on the workshop and uh, checking out some of the coolest creations this week. 
If you want to see more content like this, definitely leave a like and why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.